Hey everyone, this is Alex from WarnOffKeys.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can organize all of your commands within individual files and folders so you don't have a bunch of commands being created like we did in the previous video here. This is fine for learning the concepts, but obviously, this will make our main file very large and it's fairly inconvenient to have to handle each individual response within our interaction create event here. So, the solution to this is to use an npm package I created known as worn off keys commands. The full documentation with all information you need to know is at docs.warnoffkeys.com. A link to this will be in the description. However, we'll be diving into the basics and how to create our own commands within this video. Now, before we continue, I do want to mention that knowing JavaScript is a prerequisite to following this video and this entire series. If you don't know JavaScript, don't worry. I have a complete JavaScript course where the first hour is on YouTube for free. A link to this can be found in the description down below. So with that said, let's move forward and let's go ahead and install one of these commands by using this command right here. If I go into VS Code, I have my terminal open here and I can run npm install one of these commands. From there, we're looking to import it within our main file here. So I can import one of these commands from one of these commands. And we also need to import the path package, which is built into Node.js by default. So we can import path. Now we're ready to create our new instance of one of keys commands. And if we go under our documentation here, under the setup page, we can now go under JavaScript or TypeScript. And here we can initialize a new instance of one of keys commands. We have to pass in our commands directory. This is the folder that will hold all of our commands. And if you're running a process with TS node, like I am, you'll want to pass in TypeScript is true. Now, if you're using JavaScript, obviously you do not need to pass this in. Or if you're compiling your TypeScript into JavaScript and then running it, you will not need to pass this in either. So let's go ahead and actually type this out so we have an easier time remembering it. I can say new, one off keys commands, and this will be the same exact name as our import right here. We could then pass in our client and then an object. If I use control space, we see a number of different options we have here. The most important one for our use case right now is commands directory. I can pass in path.join underscore underscore dir name and then the folder, which we will create in a few seconds, but I'm going to call this commands. I can then create a new folder with this icon at the top left here, and I can call this commands. Now, because I'm running this using nodemon index.ts, this will use ts node as a package behind the scenes to run my TypeScript files. With that said, I do want to pass in TypeScript is true. This way, it'll look for all TypeScript files instead of JavaScript files for our commands. Now, if I save this, I can run this using npm run dev. It'll start this using ts node, as you see right here. And then it says the bot is ready, thanks to this console log here. And then it says loaded zero commands, because of course, we have no commands in our folder here. Let's go ahead and make a very simple ping pong command. So if I select the commands folder here, I can make a new file called ping.ts. And of course, if you're using JavaScript, you would use JS instead. And if I go in here, we want to export a default object. So with JavaScript, that would be module.exports equals an object here. But with TypeScript, we could say export default object. And also with TypeScript, we want to specify that this is going to be a command from one off keys commands. So I can say as I command, and I can use control space to import this. And this allows us to use IntelliSense, where I can use control space here, and we see all the options we have right here. So the first thing we want is a category. I can just add in testing. We also want a description, which is required for slash commands. And we will be making this into its own slash command here in a few moments, but we're going to start off with a standard legacy command where we simply can type ping like this. So the description could be replies with pong. We also can have a callback function here, and this is the function that we ran whenever a user actually runs the ping command. So within this object, we have a few different options. We have args, which is an array of each individual word the user provided, separated by spaces. We have the channel that it was sent in. We have access to the actual client, to the one of keys commands instance, to the interaction for slash commands, to the message for legacy commands, such as exclamation point ping. And only one of these we passed in. The other one will be null, depending on what type of command it is. We also have specified options for slash commands as well as the prefix used for legacy commands. 
and the text, which is basically all the arguments combined into one string. So what we want here, because we know this is a legacy command, we can just simply have a message. We can now say message.reply on. And if I save this, this will automatically restart here, and it should say that it loaded one command, as we see right here. So now if I go into Discord, I can do exclamation point ping, and it replies with Pong. So the command is automatically registered, and we don't have to listen for any messages ourselves, because behind the scenes, one of Key's commands will take all the files in our commands directory and register those correctly. But what if I want to make this a slash command? Well, with a simple change, we can make this both a legacy command and a slash command, or exclusively one or the other. I could say slash is true, and then I could say test only is true. And then an important part here is I can say test only is true. If you watched the previous video, you know that test-based slash commands will register instantly, and non-test-based slash commands will take up to an hour to register for all servers that are using your bot. So we need to make sure that this is only going to work for our test servers. So if I go back into Discord, I can right-click and copy the ID here. I can then go back to our index file, and inside this object, I could say test servers. And this can either be a string if it's a single one, or you can have an array. So if I save this, now all test only commands and features we registered. So now all test only slash commands, such as our ping command here, will only be registered to these guilds right here. Now we have this message option here, which is something that I mentioned only exists for legacy commands. We also have interaction, which exists for slash commands. And interaction will be null if the user used the legacy command version, and message will be null if the user used the slash commands version. So we could use an if statement to ensure that everything is correct here, as well as if interaction, we could say interaction.reply pong. And this will work. However, as I worked with my own bot using the syntax with one of keys commands, I noticed it was kind of tedious because we're often replying with the same exact thing. You can actually just remove all this code and just return the response you want. You can even return embeds and one of keys commands will automatically detect that and reply to either legacy commands or slash commands correctly. So we no longer need these right here. So here we have slash is true. I actually want to change this to slash equals both as a string. This will make it both a legacy command and a slash command. So if I save this, we still see one command loaded. And if I go back, I can still use ping and it still replies with Pong. And now I can do ping and it replies with Pong here. So one of these commands from just a few simple lines of code right here has made this command both work normally as we're used to with like exclamation point ping, as well as the new slash command syntax. So this is one of the main strengths of using one of keys commands is that it allows you to use both on any of the commands you want with a few simple lines of code. And also if you wanted to organize your files into more folders, one of keys commands will automatically look for all files within subdirectories of the commands folder as well. Now, throughout this series, we'll be diving into more features of one of Key's commands and how you can easily utilize it to speed up your bot development process. Thanks for watching the video. If you want access to video source code, as well as early access to future tutorials, consider clicking on the join button down below the video to support the channel.